Hello everyone, I'm back with another review. But first, I would like to thank all of you who commented on my EDC video. Thank you so much guys, you are awesome. Actually, your comments motivated me to do all of my future videos in English. Today I'm going to do a review on Maxpedition's Lunada Gear Slinger and some other Maxpedition items. Uh, but before I start looking at this pack, let me give you a quick idea of what kind of hikes I usually do at the weekends. Because that's what I mainly use my Lunada for. Short hiking trips that last 4, 5, maybe 6 hours maximum. I live in an area of Germany with a very dense population. So if I go out into the woods around here, there is no chance of actually leaving civilization. The trails are very well marked and they are also very well maintained. In other words, I will hardly ever run into a severe survival situation. So please do not expect me to carry fire starters, tinder or any other survival gear. Also, the Lunada is definitely too small for hardcore hiking. If you plan to spend two or three days out in the woods, you should look at other backpacks. I'm not going to talk about the material and measurements here. You can get this information from the Maxpedition website. Also, I highly recommend to watch the video on the Lunada made by CJC5531. Like Roscoe Barr, this guy has done lots of excellent Maxpedition reviews. Okay, without further ado, let's get right into it. Although I do rather short hiking trips, I usually take some food and water with me. That's why I attach Maxpedition's 10x4 bottle holder to the Lunada. And as you can see, the bottom of the bottle holder aligns perfectly with the bottom of the Lunada. You need the long 5-inch tag ties uh, for this kind of setup. The bottle holder itself is padded inside. And the padding is a really good thermal insulator which keeps the liquid cool for quite some time. I guess this bottle holder was specifically designed for an Nalgene bottle, but you can also carry other bottles in this bag. Just for demonstration purposes, let's try this bottle with uh, this kind of squarish design. And as you can see, it fits in here quite nicely. To tell you the truth, my initial concern was uh, that the filled bottle would make the whole backpack uncomfortable to carry. But although this one liter of water shifts the center of gravity of the pack, surprisingly the weight is still nicely balanced. You hardly notice uh, the extra weight. Inside this outer pocket of the bottle holder I keep my headlamp. Even though it's not very likely that I get lost in the woods, I carry this with me just in case the trip takes longer than expected and I have to walk in the dark. Very useful item. Now let's move on to the Lunada itself. I'm going to start with the rear pocket. This rear pocket is secured by this button. I think it's called a snap fastener in English. I usually keep a hiking guide or a map inside this pocket. Uh, this pocket, by the way, comes with this rubbery mesh stuff and extra cushion, which makes the whole pack very comfortable to carry on your back. Now for the main compartment, it opens halfway down and as I mentioned, I like to take some food with me. Sandwiches, some fruits, maybe a cup of yogurt. Um, now look at this. This Tupperware lunchbox fits in here as if it was made for the Lunada. It's quite large, but it's a perfect fit. Nice. Instead of this Tupperware box, I sometimes carry um, 
this box, it's smaller but has this um, somehow odd triangular shape. But it also fits in here nicely. Even though these boxes are quite bulky, there is still room for other items. Deep inside this compartment is my poncho. Even on short hiking trips, I like to be prepared for heavy rain showers. Inside the main compartment are two sleeves, one on each side. This one is secured by a Velcro strap. The sleeve itself is empty. The zipper pocket here contains my wallet. Uh, you may have seen uh, this wallet already in my video on the Neat Freak. Behind this pocket is the other sleeve. where I keep my survival knife. It's a K-Bar BK11, also known as the Beckernecker. To be honest, I don't really need this knife during my short hiking trips. This is even more true since I carry some other tools with me, as you will see shortly. So, what do I do with the knife? Well, its major use is peeling or slicing apples. I know, it's kind of boring. I don't do these exciting knife slash bushcrafting things you see in other videos. So even though this knife is kind of overkill, I like to carry it with me. And by the way, it's legal in Germany uh, to carry a knife like this. So much for the first part of this review, please stay tuned for part two.